Today we will discuss Lecture 8-2 on source transformation, Stevenin and Norton equivalents for AC circuits. This is Section 7.7 .7 in your text. At the conclusion of today's lecture, students should be able to convert an AC circuit to the Thevenin or Norton equivalent to be able to calculate the value of a load for maximum power transfer. In subsequent weeks, when we talk about complex power, we will discuss the actual value of that power. Recall that many of the techniques used to analyze DC circuits can also be used on AC circuits, including KCL, KVL, voltage divider, and current divider, node voltage, and mesh current methods. This is also true for Thevenin and Norton equivalent. Since Thevenin and Norton equivalent for AC circuits is used to reduce the circuit to an equivalent circuit with only one terminal characteristics, the load is what's most re relevant. One key difference between AC and DC is that for maximum power transfer, Z load is equal to Z Thevenin conjugate. Remember what a conjugate is. The definition of conjugate is that if you have a complex number, A plus JB, the conjugate would be A minus JB, or if it's in angle notation, if you have a number K with an angle of theta, the conjugate would be K with an angle of negative theta. So if you have a linear circuit, the Thevenin equivalent circuit is the voltage V Thevenin, which is a phasor, in series with the impedance Z Thevenin. You also can get the Norton equivalent by having a current source I Norton, which is a phasor, in parallel with an impedance Z Norton. Now, let's try an example. Let's look at the following FE preview problem. Size the impedance CL to allow maximum power transfer through terminals A and B in the following circuit. Recall to find the Thevenin impedance, the first thing you want to do is to turn off the independent sources and find the equivalent impedance seen by terminals A and B. The way that we turn off a voltage source is to replace it with a short circuit. So once we do that, we have a wire here, a 10 ohm resistor, a J5 ohm resistor, an 8 ohm resistor, and a negative J3 ohm resistor between terminals A and B. So ZAB would be equal to 10 in parallel with 8 plus J5 and that entire quantity in parallel with negative J3. So ZAB would be equal to 1.68 minus J 3.76 ohms. So ZAB is Z Thevenin. Recall that the load for maximum power transfer is Z Thevenin conjugate, which would be 1.68 plus J, 3.76 ohms. So the answer would be letter D. Let's look at another example. For the above circuit, what is the Thevenin equivalent impedance across terminals A and B? What you notice here is that this is a Wheatstone bridge, and we can actually use the voltage divider to find V Thevenin. V Thevenin is equal to the voltage at A minus the voltage at B. Using the voltage divider, the voltage at A is 8 over 8 minus J6 times 120 with an angle of 75 degrees. It's very important to note that it's got to be 8 over 8 minus J6 because it's the voltage at A with respect to ground. Because the capacitor negative J6 is between 120 and A, it is not with respect to ground. Minus the voltage at B, is J12 over four plus J12 times 120 with an angle of 75 degrees. So V Thevenin is equal to 37.95 with an angle of negative 139.7 degrees and the units are volts. To find the Thevenin impedance, once again, we're gonna redraw the circuit with the voltage source turned off, which becomes a wire and we have a capacitor, a resistor, a resistor, and an inductor. So the capacitor is negative J6 ohms, the bottom resistor is eight ohms, the top resistor is four ohms, and the inductor is J12 ohms, and then terminal A and terminal B are here. So if I redraw this, what you will see is that I have terminal A And then I have the negative J6 ohm capacitor. And at the bottom I have the eight ohm, 
resistor. Then here's the wire where the voltage source was shorted out. And up here I have a 4 ohm resistor. And down here I have a J12 ohm inductor. And on the other side is terminal B. So Z thevenin, which is equal to ZAB, would be 8 in parallel with negative J6 plus 4 in parallel with J12 which equals 6.48 minus J 2.64 ohms. So now using V Thevenin and Z Thevenin we can find I Norton so that we can draw the Thevenin equivalent and Norton equivalent circuits. I Norton is equal to V Thevenin over Z Thevenin which is equal to 37.95 with an angle of negative 139.7 degrees divided by 6.48 minus J 2.64 ohms. So I Norton is equal to 5.42 with an angle of negative 117.5 degrees and the units are amps. So the Thevenin equivalent circuit is a voltage source in series with an impedance. The Norton equivalent circuit is a current source in parallel with an impedance. And on the first circuit, we label the voltage as 37.95 with an angle of negative 139.7 degrees, and the units are volts. The impedance, 6.48 minus J, 2.64 ohms. That will be the same on both circuits, 6.48 minus J, 2.64 ohms. And finally, I Norton, 5.42 with an angle of negative 117.5 degrees, and the units are amps. So now we will do an example of solving for the Thevenin and Norton equivalent of a circuit by using source transformations. The first thing you notice is that we have a current source in parallel with an impedance, 4 minus J3 ohms, and that's in series with 2 plus J ohms, and that whole quantity is in parallel with J5 ohms. So the first source transformation, we're going to have a voltage source here in series with the 4 ohm resistor, the negative J3 ohm capacitor, the 2 ohm resistor that was here before, the J ohm inductor that was here before, and the J5 inductor that was here before. The value of this voltage source, which we will call V1. V1 would be four with an angle of 90 degrees times four minus J3, which is equal to 20 with an angle of 53 degrees and the units are volts. So when I simplify this circuit, I'll have 20 with an angle of 53 degrees, units are volts. Combining these impedances, I'll have six ohms and a negative J2 ohm capacitor, and I still have the J5 ohm inductor here, and terminals A and B. Then I do another source transformation on the 20 with an angle of 53 degrees and the 6 minus J2 ohms. I'll now call this current source I1, and I1 is going to be in parallel with 6 ohms negative J2 ohms and J5 ohms. So I1 will be equal to 20 with an angle of 53 degrees divided by 6 minus J2 which equals 3.16 with an angle of 71.57 degrees and the units are amps. Okay, when we combine these parallel impedances, we're now ready to write the Norton equivalent circuit. I Norton is the same as I1. So I Norton is equal to 3.16 with an angle of 71.57 degrees, and the units are amps. And that is in parallel with Z Norton, where Z Norton is equal to 6 minus J2 in parallel with J5. 6 minus J2 in parallel with J5 is 10 thirds plus J 10 thirds ohms, and that's what goes here, 10 thirds plus J 10 thirds ohms. 
And now we do one more source transformation to get the Thevenin equivalent circuit, where the impedance Z Thevenin is the same. So it's still 10 thirds plus J 10 thirds ohms. And that's terminal A, terminal B. And V Thevenin is equal to 3.16 with an angle of 71.57 degrees times 10 over 3 plus J10 over 3. So V Thevenin is equal to 14.9 with an angle, angle of 116.57 degrees in the units or volts. And finally, we'll label that value on our circuit. 14.9 with an angle of 116.57 degrees. Okay, here's our final example for today's lecture. For the above circuit, outline the steps to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit to the left of terminals A and B. Well, the first thing you would do is you could use the test source method in order to find Z Thevenin. To find V Thevenin, you could do the node voltage or the mesh current method. Since we are given the currents, I would do the node voltage method. And to find I Norton, I would use V Thevenin divided by Z Thevenin. So let's find V Thevenin first. If we label values and nodes on the circuit, we have the ground here. This is V Thevenin. And what you will notice here is that the current flowing through the 4 and the J3 ohm impedances is also 0.5 I naught because we have an open circuit and there's no current flowing here. So if I do KCL at that top node, I have 15 equals I naught plus 0.5 I naught. So I naught is equal to 10 with an angle of zero degrees and the units are amps. To find V Thevenin, we're going to do KVL around this right loop. So what we're going to have is that V Thevenin plus four plus J3 times 0.5 I naught is equal to two minus J4 times I naught. We have one equation and one unknown because we know that I naught is 10 with an angle of zero degrees. So V Thevenin is equal to negative J55 volts or 55 with an angle of negative 90 degrees and the units are volts. So we're going to use the test source method in order to find Z Thevenin. So the first thing I'll do is turn off the current source, which means you replace it with an open circuit. And then we'll redraw the circuit. So I have the two ohm resistor here, the negative J4 ohm capacitor here. Here's I naught through that series combination. Then I have a four ohm resistor, a J3 ohm inductor. And here we have the current controlled current source, 0.5 I naught. And then for the test source, I can either put a one amp current source or I can put a one volt voltage source I'm going to do a voltage source, V test equal one volt, and we're looking for I test. So V test is the same as the voltage across the four plus J3 ohm inductor and the two minus J4 ohm series impedance on the left. Since these have the same current and it's I naught, V test is equal to I naught times four plus J3 plus two minus J4. Since we know V test is equal to one, we can solve for I naught. I naught is equal to 164.4 with an angle of 9.46 degrees and the units are milliamps. And I test is equal to 0.5 I naught plus I naught, which is 1.5 I naught. So I test is equal to 246.6 with an angle of 9.46 degrees and the units are milliamps. And finally, Z Thevenin, which would be equal to one over I test is equal to four minus J two over three ohms. So for maximum power transfer, the load would have to be equal to Z Thevenin conjugate, which would be four plus J 
2 over 3 ohms. And the last thing we'll do is we'll actually draw the Thevenin equivalent and Norton equivalent circuits. So the Thevenin equivalent circuit is a voltage source in series with an impedance where V Thevenin is 55 with an angle of negative 90 degrees in the units of volts. The impedance is 4 minus J 2 over 3 ohms. I Norton is equal to V Thevenin over Z Thevenin. So I Norton is equal to 13 0.56 with an angle of negative 80 0.54 degrees in the units or amps. So here I have a current source in parallel with an impedance where the impedance is 4 minus J 2 over 3 ohms and the current source is 13.56 with an angle of negative 80.54 degrees in the units or amps. This concludes today's lectures on finding the Thevenin and Norton equivalent, as well as the value of a load impedance for maximum power transfer for AC circuits.